will create a star system and we'll see that how to make it dynamic. For example, if you have 3.4 stars or 3.5 stars, things like that, okay? Anyway, so for now, I have this class over here, like my app, and over here I'm returning a scaffold, and inside this I have a class which is called rating bar, and inside, after that we have this class over here, rating bar. Now the rating bar itself is taking rating size and rating count, and uh, this rating and rating count are actually coming over here as arguments. So we can pass the value to it. In real world, you should be getting them from server. But here, anyway, let's uh, simulate this. Now over here, if I do and go ahead like this, we'll see that everything is gone. Yeah, just like this. Now, we want to have the stars where we will have like fraction of the stars like that. Now, to be able to do that, first we need to declare some variables. So here I have these three new lines and inside this we have a list and the list is widget types, which, which means that we can save any kind of widget inside it. And then we also have two variables, real number and part number. Now, what does that mean? For example, if your rating is say 3.5 now the real number because of this floor function will just get 3 so whatever the rating is there and from there we do rating dot floor will get 3 from it and to get this 5 over here that's why we are using rating minus real number which would be 3.5 minus 3 and then we will end up having 0.5 and we multiply it with a 10, then we get five. Yes, so we return over here as five one more time. But what if, if you have 3.55? Well, in this case, the real number would still return us a three, but over here, it will return us over here six. So that's how it works because sale returns the closest biggest number. You get the idea. So with this, we'd be able to separate our real number and the partial number behind the dot. And based on that, actually, we can start to go ahead and draw our stars and save them in this list. So as you can see over here, we'll have this uh, for loop and inside this, we are going through it five times because we, we want to have five star rating system and we check for the real number. So for real number, whatever the, how many number stars are there, we add them in a list. Now in this case, we are going to use our primary color, which is blue. So the, if we have three stars, so first three stars we'll see in blue. And at the same time, we are mentioning the size of this star icons, as you can see over here. So if it is more than, but since we are going to use a five star system, so rest of the two stars in this case would be in gray colors, as you can see over here. So right now, actually, we can go ahead and see them. So over here, instead of returning a container like this, we can return a row like this. And if we save it, we'd be able to see that stars. So we already see that we have three stars. Now, what if you want to send over here 4.5 stars? Let's see. Okay, so we see that four stars. Now, of course, a lot of the thing we need to work because the gray sections over here, like this section, the part number is missing even though we are looping through it five times, we still see just uh, four stars. Now let's go ahead and change it to 2.5. Okay, so we say like this. So this number 0.5 is not being reflected. Now to be able to work on this, this is where we need to come and work. So here inside this, else if in this state in this condition I have added this code over here now since we are going to overlap like blue star and gray star together so that's why we decided to use a stack widget and we want the children to 
fit each other and expand at the same time. So that's why we are using this. Now, after saving this, we do see that we have five stars over here and that's actually what we wanted. Now, if we have 3.5, okay, we still see that four stars. We don't see that 3.5. If we have 4.5, we see the complete stars. So we want to show half of it over here and how to do that. Now, to be able to work with this, first we need to come down in this class over here and we need to use something called Custom Clipper. This is a Clipper class we created and it extends Custom Clipper class which comes from Flutter. And if you hover over on it, you'll see that it says that it's missing two overrides. So these are the two overrides. Now, we need to call this Clipper class, as we call it, we'll part, we'll send a value to it. And what value to send? The value we are talking about, like say, for example, 3.5. So this 5.5 will send to it. But of course, when it comes, it would come as an integer. So it would just be five. Why it would be integer? Because at the top, we convert it to integer, the nearest biggest number. Hopefully it makes sense. So now this function, which is called get clip, it actually does the real magical work. So we start from the very left. We start from the certain side from left of a star and we start at the top. That's why it's zero. We see over here and width is the complete width and the height is the complete height. Now we need to go ahead and call this clipper clipper class as we call will will send this value part. So we can send it actually from here. Reorganize our code, yes. And now let's save it. And we do see that we have three, 4.5 stars. Now at the top, if we change to 3.5, we'll see that it changed. But actually you can also do 3.8. And you see that there is a bit of gray over here you can do 3.2 you see that bit of blue and bit of gray so with custom clipper actually we are overlapping two different shapes with different color and the class custom clipper itself actually can start drawing from anywhere from the parent box so what is our parent box over here which is the sized box so Custom Clipper draws everything based on the parent class, which is a sized box. Thank you.